Trump posted in part on True Social, quote, I have already testified to everything and have nothing more to say other than this is a complete and total election interference Biden campaign witch hunt that will do nothing but keep businesses out of New York. I will not be testifying on Monday. Meanwhile, the special counsel overseeing the federal government's election interference case against Trump, Jack Smith, has called out the Supreme Court to rule on whether or not the former president can be prosecuted on charges relating to his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Joining us now with reaction is former U.S. attorney Brett Tolman. Brett, how do you see all of this? Uh, him deciding not to testify in the civil in the proceeding here in New York, but uh, Jack Smith asking the Supreme Court to make this ruling. How quickly could the high court act on that? Yeah, thanks, Dagan and Sean, for having me on. A couple of uh, initial observations I think that are important. You, a client will refuse to testify when they really don't have any ability to, to gain anything from the testimony. So here you have a president that is very concerned about taking the witness stand, as he should be. And, and there's, there's multiple reasons for that. If you take the stand in the same case twice, you do open the door for problems down the road, inconsistencies in your testimony that later they may come back and, and try to, to go after this president. And and let's face it, if, if I'm his lawyer, I'm trying to keep him from going under oath as many times as possible because the, the scrutiny that will come after that with individuals that hold power to prosecute him would not stop to bring a perjury case or, or some other effort against anybody that, that they have such a bullseye on. With respect to the Supreme Court, um, what, what Jack is really doing is trying to speed this case up. He, he wants to get to the point where this case is in the forefront of the, of the media and that he is um, prosecuting the president and gets a conviction before the election. Make no mistake. This is the case they think they have the best chance of getting a conviction and putting him in prison prior to the election. Yeah, no doubt about that. Let's move on to this uh, because also breaking today, while it comes as no surprise, Hunter Biden's attorneys, they're trying to get his gun charges dismissed in Delaware. Uh, and it goes back to, I believe, the uh, agreement that uh, Hunter Biden had with the prosecutors that the judge threw out. They're now coming and saying on Hunter Biden's team, we had a deal. Now you can't prosecute him. What happens here? <laughs> this this case is one that it, it is a, it, it is an eyesore for for both sides. They tried to pull a fast one over on a judge who wasn't going to take it, and now you have an embarrassed DOJ who then pushed for the California charges that we've seen, and you also have these charges that exist. They're there. You have to deal with them, and this court isn't going to about to dismiss these counts based on some of the filings that I've seen. Keep in mind, it is very rare, Sean, for a motion to dismiss a criminal case to ever be granted because the procedure for handling whether or not a case should be brought or not is the indictment by a grand jury. They get to decide whether it's brought. And then by a sitting jury, they get to decide whether it was it was an appropriate charge. And judges don't like to mess with those two, two you know, standards in the criminal law. And the defense always has the right to appeal. So uh, they're going to let the process run out, no That's doubt. Right. Brett Tolman, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Brett.